McIntyre Law Chopper 4 over the scene of a live chase, a police chase happening right now as we speak. We can see this white truck and Mason Dunn's up there for us in McIntyre Law Chopper 4. Mason, where are you right now? Okay, I'm going to keep talking here until we get uh, Mason's audio going, but you can see this white truck traveling right now in the control room. Tara, any information? That was a close call on where this might be located right now. 23rd and Western. 23rd from uh, Western. Okay, now we have Mason done. Mason, tell us what you know so far. I don't believe Mason can hear me. He did say eastbound 23rd and Western. So Mason's not hearing me and we're continuing to get this chopper shot as we speak of this live police chase going on right now on 23rd near Western, but it is taking several twists and turns. This is a very busy spot. Just inching, oh, onto a curb. Inch oh, he just hit a pole. Okay, he hit a pole. Maybe it's over from here. We never like to see the end of a police chase because you never know how violent it will get, but we see people running. They are going after them, running fast, but officers... Four. Four. Yeah, officers are right there. Of course, we have our helicopter overhead, and we often give law enforcement all of the information as to the location. All Got right, one. one's tackled. Got one in custody, still one running in between the houses. And this is scary for homeowners in that area. So if you're in this area near 23rd, please pay attention. Lock your doors right now if you're at home. And if you notice anything, call 911. If you notice any suspects running near your home, that's so important to help them. It looks like there's at least one more who has not yet been captured, but we do see police lights right there trying to look through those trees. Okay, I think uh, there might. Okay. Control room, if you could have Mason relay the details that he knows. Going back to show a look at the crash there of the truck. Yeah, guys, we just, uh, on this pursuit, just ended on 23rd Street as the, hang on one second. And Mason also has to talk to. Anyway, I, was, I think everyone was headed this way, but uh, they're calling for an ambulance. I think for one of the uh, suspects, uh, maybe in this yard right here one or two of them uh and the third one was caught behind the house so good job on the officers it's 23rd uh 23rd street here just about a oh, about a mile west of uh 235 and uh i think it's a stolen truck that ended up a uh, wrecking here uh i can't see the cross street here but it ended up wrecking here on 23rd, just west of 235. Uh, the chase went on for about 10 minutes. So uh, high speeds, they did get stop sticks. They uh, got got it on one of the tires, so they were running on uh, rims on, on one of the tires. So they're calling for an ambulance to come here. I believe one of the suspects might be hurt, so or an officer might be down also uh, here, so uh, this is going on live for McIntyre Law Chopper 4 on 23rd Street, just west of 235. Guys, back to you. Yeah, we never want to hear any word of any officer possibly down. However, we do see officers continue running in that area, which tells us something. Hopefully everyone is captured. Hopefully no officers are injured. And you saw how quickly those suspects were running, but they were no match for the officers who quickly caught up to them and outnumbered them by far. Never a good idea to run from the law. You will always be caught. And we love detailing these police chases anytime that we can help, you know, law enforcement officers. Kevin Ogle joins me now with more information. Yeah, yeah you, can't out, you cannot outrun a two-way radio. That's what these Absolutely. people don't understand in the helicopters. Of course, do they have both suspects that were running? Uh, we were, I was watching it back there getting ready to do Oklahoma Now, and I saw another man that you were talking about running around the house. Right. I, it appeared to me that there were three. They did capture two. Um, Mason said that he believes all are in custody. You know, we're continuing to watch it. Just a few moments ago, a police officer was running in that area. So yeah. um, Mason did say that there's a p possibility I, that an officer might yeah, be Yeah, I think that's him right there. I was, I got a little, I got a chance to get a little closer than you did, Heather, because I could get right up to the monitor. It looked like an officer was on the sidewalk there, might have been hurt when he tackled one of those suspects. So I think that's what they're checking out right now. And Mason said this is happening near I-235. 
and you know, lots of houses right there. It's mm -hmm. always terrifying when suspects are running through housing additions because they often try to jump fences, break in to hide from the law. So. Oh, they'll kick indoors sure. for sure, yeah. And you never know if they're armed as well. So Mason had said that the pickup truck that they were driving is believed to have been stolen. It appeared to have slammed into a sign. Is that what you saw, Kevin? Uh, that's what it looked like. It hopped up the curb, then hit a sign and stopped, and the suspects bailed out. The police fast on their heels there. Uh, catching them, and we think one of the officers got banged up a little bit there on the sidewalk. Now, we do see... Um, officers is, looking over the fence there. Okay, I, see, I think they're still missing what? Missing uh, what? Uh, one of the suspects. Okay, so then um, that makes sense. Still looking in that area. So if you do live in this area and control room, if you could please get a more precise location from Mason, uh, we need to tell folks to lock your doors and also, if you see anything, to please call 911. Absolutely. And this is a developing scene right here uh, of high speed chase. Truck got hit with one of the stop sticks. They've got everybody in custody. They okay. do have everyone we're in custody. Just, yeah, yeah, we're just now hearing that. That's good to know. That is the, that's the news that we all hope for. So we hope for no injuries also as far as law enforcement is concerned. But right. again, this is okay. Now we have the location there, Northwest 23rd, 23rd and Walker. Walker. And that's the officer I believe they're working on right there uh, who took a little tumble when he was going after the suspects, uh, either when he caught the suspect or almost did. And it looks like they're taking care of him right now. Yeah, obviously not too serious or, you know, he would be. Yeah. Not sitting upright, so that's some good news there as well. So <laughs> it appears that this chase has now come to an end. All three, we believe, three suspects captured, and they are tending to the officer there who appears somewhat injured, hopefully just minor injuries. So now we will continue our regularly scheduled broadcast, and we'll bring you more on that later too.